During the Republic of China era, the water supply in the Zhanghua area was divided into eight major systems, namely, Zhanghua system, Watan system, Beidou system, Erlin system, Lukang system, Yuanlin system, Erzui system, and Shihu system. The Zhanghua system includes the third water purification station, Chuanqing water purification station, and Hemei water purification station. The Huatan system includes Huatan water purification station, Datsuan first water purification station, and Datsuan second water purification station. The Beidou system includes the second water purification station, Pitu water purification station, Xiaoba water purification station, Yangjing water purification station, and Pushin water purification station. The Erlin system includes Erlin water purification station, Fangyuan water purification station, and Zhutang water purification station. The Lukong system includes Lukong water purification station, Xiuzhu water purification station, and Detitsua water purification station. The Yuanlin system includes the first water purification station, the second water purification station, and the third water purification station. The Erzui system includes Changhe water purification station, Shitu water purification station, Tianzhong water purification station, and Qingxuan water purification station. The Shihu system includes the first water purification station, the second water purification station and Fuxing water purification station. These systems supplied water for residential and industrial use in the greater Zhanghua area. The sources of water for residential use are mainly divided into surface water and groundwater. The water sources for the purification stations in the Zhanghua area mainly rely on deep groundwater wells within the region. There are a total of 203 deep wells, providing a daily water supply of approximately 303,300 cubic meters. Due to the scarcity of surface water sources within Zhanghua, Surface water is mainly supplied by Taicheng and Yunlin, providing a daily total of 119,000 cubic meters. Specifically, Taicheng supports the northern part of Zhanghua, such as Zhanghua City, Hemei Town, and Xinqi Township, with a daily supply of approximately 69,000 cubic meters. Yunlin supports the southern part of Zhanghua, such as Beidou Town, Pitu Township, Erlin Town, Zhutang Township, Fangyuan Township, and Shihu Town with a daily supply of approximately 50,000 cubic meters. The total daily water supply in the Zhanghua area is approximately 422,300 cubic meters, which includes 119,000 cubic meters surface water supplied by Taicheng and Yunlin, and 303,300 cubic meters from Zhanghua's own groundwater wells. The Zhanghua system includes the Zhanghua Third, Juanqing, and Hemei water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 30 wells. Among them, the Zhanghua Third water purification station is the largest in the Zhanghua area. Its facilities include rapid sand filters, two wastewater basins, a 4,000 cubic meters clear water reservoir, and a 7,000 cubic meters clear water reservoir. Zhanghua system has a daily output capacity of up to 92,600 cubic meters, supplying areas such as Zhanghua City, Hemei Town, Xingang Township, and Xianqi Township. The Huatan system includes the Huatan, Datsuan First, and Datsuan Second water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 15 wells. Among them, the Huatan Water Purification Station is located in Huatan Township, and its purification facilities include rapid sand filters, three clear water reservoirs, and wastewater basins. The Huatan system has a daily output capacity of up to 23,850 cubic meters, supplying areas such as Huatan Township, Datsuan Township, and parts of Shishui Township and Pushin Township. The Beidou system includes the Pushin, Beidou Second, Pitu, Xiaoba, and Yongjing water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 22 wells. The Pushin water purification station is located in Pushin Township, and its purification facilities include rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, wastewater ponds, 
and sludge drying beds. The Beidou system has a daily output capacity of up to 95,100 cubic meters, supplying areas such as Beidou Town, Yongjing Township, and parts of Shizhou Township, Tianwei Township, Pitu Township, Pushin Township, and Shihu Town. The Erlin system includes the Erlin, Fangyuan, and Zhutang water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 18 wells. The Erlin Water Purification Station is located in Erlin Town, and its purification facilities include rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, and wastewater basins. The Erlin system has a daily output capacity of up to 38,200 cubic meters, supplying areas such as Dishang Township, Fangyuan Township, Zhutang Township, all of Erlin Town, and four villages in Pitu Township. The Lukong system includes Detyitswa, Xiotswa, and Lukong water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 25 wells. Among them, the Detyitswa water purification station is located in Lukong town, and its purification facilities include rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, wastewater basins, sludge drying beds, a chemical control room, and related electromechanical monitoring equipment for pressurized water supply. The Lukong system has a daily output capacity of up to 73,800 cubic meters, supplying areas such as the entirety of Lukong town and 14 villages within Fuxing township. The Yuanlin system includes the first, second, and third Yuanlin water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 30 wells. Among them, the first Yuanlin water purification station is located in Yuanlin city, and its purification facilities include aeration towers, rapid sand filters, 2,000 cubic meters, 3,200 cubic meters, and 4,000 cubic meters clear water reservoirs, a chemical control room, wastewater basins, and sludge drying beds. The Yuanlin system has a daily output capacity of up to 71,000 cubic meters, supplying areas such as the entirety of Yuanlin city and parts of Dutsuan township. The Airsui system includes the Shitu, Tianzhong, Qingxuan, and Changhe water purification stations. The system's water sources come from a total of 37 wells. Among them, the Shitu water purification station is located at the foot of Bagua Mountain in Shitu Township, with the headwater being Hyperiac flow. The purification facilities include a pump room, rapid sand filters, three clear water reservoirs, wastewater basins, and a control room. The Airsui system has a daily output capacity of up to 67,100 cubic meters, supplying areas such as Airsui Township, Tianzhong Town, Shitu Township, Tianwei Township, and parts of Yuanlin Town and Shizhou Township. The Shihu system includes the first and second Shihu water purification stations and Fuxing water purification station. The system's water sources come from a total of 16 wells. Among them, the first Shihu water purification station is located in Shihu town, and its purification facilities include rapid sand filters, clear water reservoirs, a chlorine control room, an elevated water tower, pump buckets, and wastewater basins. The Shihu system has a daily output capacity of up to 56,700 cubic meters, supplying areas such as the entirety of Shihu town, Puyin Township, and parts of Erlin Town, Tianwei Township, Shishui Township, and Fuxing Township. Most of the water sources within the Zhanghua area are drawn from groundwater, which over time has led to subsidence and flooding issues. In recent years, this has also raised concerns about the operational safety of the high-speed rail and increasing water demand. Therefore, Reducing groundwater extraction and finding alternative water sources is crucial. The construction of Niaozuitan Lake is one of the key projects under the specific solution and action plan for subsidence in Yunlin and Zhanghua areas. The construction of Niaozuitan Lake began in 2017 and is expected to be completed in 2024. Upon completion, it will supply a total of 210,000 cubic meters of surface water daily to 22 towns and cities in the Zhanghua area. The water source of Niaozuitan Lake comes from the Wu River. 
A weir is built on the Wu River to divert river water into an artificial lake for storage and backup. This stable surface water source serves as an alternative to reduce groundwater extraction. Niaozuitan Lake facilities include the weir, water intake point, water diversion tunnel, grit removal tank, partial flume, water diversion works, and artificial lake. The weir is a specially designed low weir, unlike traditional high dams. It primarily raises the riverbed with the weir crest elevation similar to the original riverbed height, naturally diverting river water into the water intake point. A stepped consolidation work with a honeycomb design is used to stabilize the riverbed, making it less prone to erosion and deformation. The sluiceway has three gates, two of which are radial gates, and one is Taiwan's first 30-meter large shell gate, keeping the deep channel on the left bank to ensure stable water intake. This design also aids in flood discharge during typhoons and heavy rains. Additionally, there are three different fishways, a nature-like fishway, a waterfall fishway, and a full-width fishway, facilitating the passage of fish species with various habits. The water intake point is designed with a water intake elevation of 146 meters, a width of 6 meters, and is divided into five openings. The asymmetric bell-shaped structure matches the angle of the water diversion surface, with a designed annual water intake of approximately 103.79 million cubic meters, equivalent to 6.63% of the annual flow of the Wu River. The intake gates and the river flow direction of the weir are perpendicular to each other, preventing excessive sediment from entering the water diversion channel. The water diversion tunnel transports water from the Wu River through the intake to the water diversion works, spanning a total length of 1,234 meters. The grit removal tank separates sand and water from the raw water flowing in from the Wu River via the water diversion tunnel. After separation, the raw water flows through the upper channel, while the sediment is discharged through the lower culvert. The partial flume is designed to measure water flow by having the raw water pass through a gradually constricting section, followed by a narrow throat section, and then through a gradually expanding section. This creates a critical depth of flow in the flume, allowing for the observation of water flow rates. The water diversion works primarily allocate river water to various areas. It includes four branches, the main canal, north side drainage, south side drainage, and Beitu New Canal. The main canal is 3,705 meters long. Water from the Wu River is transported through this route to the inlet works of the artificial lakes for storage. Gates between the main canal and inlet works can control water flow. The north and south side drainage routes are used to discharge excess water into the Wu River during periods of heavy rainfall or when the artificial lake's water level is too high. The south side drainage route is 4,316 meters long and flows into the Tangdonki drainage line, eventually reaching the Jialaomazu Canal. The north side drainage route is 3,737 meters long and flows into the Azawa Canal. In addition to diverting water to the main canal and the north and south side drainage, the water diversion works also divert water to the Beitu New Canal. The Beitu New Canal, formerly known as Sien Canal, has been in existence for over 250 years and is one of the earliest developed canals in the Tsautuan area of Nantu. The artificial lake is primarily for storing water from the Wu River. The project includes six lake zones, each capable of independent water storage and diversion. Energy dissipators are installed between the main canal and the lake zones to prevent erosion of the lake bed due to excessive water flow speeds. The total effective storage capacity is designed to be 14.5 million cubic meters. Each lake is equipped with a side overflow weir and a recession box culvert. When the water level is too high, Excess water is freely overflowed and discharged through the side overflow weir and box culvert into the drainage. The water diversion pipe is 3,281 meters long. It transports water stored in the artificial lake to the water purification station for treatment, after which it is distributed for residential use. The water supply process of Niazwe Tan Lake involves upstream water from the Wu River entering the water intake point from the weir. 
The water is then sent through the water diversion tunnel to the grit removal tank. The clear water after sedimentation flows through the partial flume and is sent to the water diversion works. From there, the water is either channeled into the artificial lakes for storage via the main canal or diverted to the north and south side drainages and Bay 2 New Canal. Water from the artificial lakes is then transported through the water diversion pipe to the Niazwe Tan Water Purification Station and the Tsautuan Water Purification Station for use. Niazuitan Lake can provide a daily water supply of 210,000 cubic meters, accounting for about 46.5% of the total water supply in the Zhanghua area. The remaining water supply for the Zhanghua area is supported by 80,000 cubic meters from Taicheng, 50,000 cubic meters from Yunlin, and 112,000 cubic meters from local groundwater sources in areas such as Yuanlin City, Xitu Township, Tianzhong Town, and Erzui Township. Since ancient times, the Zhanghua area has relied on groundwater wells as its main water source. After the Republic of China was established, numerous water purification stations were built, leading to significant groundwater extraction and the division of the water supply system into eight regions. Over time, excessive groundwater extraction has caused severe subsidence issues, necessitating the search for alternative solutions. In recent years, the construction of Niazuitan Lake has aimed to use surface water from the Wu River to supply water to the Zhanghua and Nantou areas. The Niazuitan Lake project not only reduces groundwater extraction, preventing severe subsidence but also alleviates safety concerns for the high-speed rail and provides ample water for residential use. The next episode will introduce public water supply systems in the Nantou and Yunlin areas. Stay tuned!